Welcome back, ladies and gentle steppers, to another WGS. We'll be covering 14 through 21 July, and we're already on the newly active guilds list here. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of them. In fact, there are a total of eight newly active guilds, four more than the previous week. And I just gotta say it, Blackheart is absolutely impressive. Yuri, Lord of Darkness, created this guild and went on a recruiting-focused week. And it has paid off with 115 members already. That's highly impressive. I hope to see Blackheart starting to make strides into the top 10 PvP or PvE, whichever type of guild they decide to land on. And then also in the SGL. Love to see that, especially for the new season that's about to start. Then we have Twin Ravens with 24 members, which is also impressive with Palisade. And you have all these other different guilds. The Satanic Steel, Indonesia, the Aristocrats, the Recycling Sign, German Fire, and Russian Grinders. Now, let's head on over to the deleted side of the house because there are just as much deleted guilds as there are newly active guilds. Well, one less. There are a total of seven deleted guilds this past week. And the big one is Bloodlust. This was a, SG, a top 25 guild that's on, that was on the SGL that we report on every Thursday. And Silver Wolf has decided to delete this guild and go back home and join Wolf Blood. 54 members have to go find a new home. It's a bummer to see a guild like that be deleted, but at the same time, it's cool to see Silver Wolf coming back home to Wolf Blood. So, uh, congrats, maybe? No idea. Uh, and then you have Guild, their garbage uh, guild leader, <laughs> um, has not moved on. Shadows has sh and Shadow has moved on to the Knights Who Say Ye. The Nothing was deleted. Their guild leader moved over to Black Dragon. The Void Syndicate. Their guild leader moved over to Asgard. Villains Re Renaissance deleted. Their guild leader Random moved over to Afterglow. And then White Skull was also deleted, and their guild leader moved off to Black Heart. So that covers the guild details section of it. Let's hop into the the stats portion of this whole thing now. So in total, we have 852 guilds with activity since the guild update in April of 2021. For this past week, again, 14 through 21 July, we've had a total of 75 weekly active guilds, which is three more than the previous week. That's 7 through 14 July. So, you know, a little improvement. A small bump in numbers. We'll take those. We'll absolutely take those. For the breakdown, we have 476 PvE-only guilds and 376 PvP-enabled guilds. That breaks out to about a 56% PvE guilds and a 44, roughly 44% PvP guilds. Now, for the favorite part that everyone loves, it's the top 10 portion. Let's look at the top 10 PvP side of the house. We have Factory Reset in first place with 14.6 mil, The Forest in second, Prostor in third, Wolfblood in fourth, Asgard in fifth, Friendly in sixth, Helheim in seventh, Still Friendly 2 in eighth, Heaven and Hell in ninth, and Murderers of the Universe holding into that top 10 position, being the gatekeeper. Uh, and, you know, I got to say a couple of things here. One, Helheim showed up this past week. They knocked out Yi, the Knights who say Yi, so they're not on the leaderboard this week. And then also, Still Friendly 2 had the biggest drop for the top 10 PvP. They went from second place uh, for the week of 7th through 14 July all the way down to eighth place for this pre previous week, 14 through 21 July. Now, let's move over to the top 10 PvE side of the house where we have TSL leading in first place with 18 mil, more than the factory reset. Absolutely insane. Insane. That is so much PV. That's uh, so much EXP that they've grinded and obtained. Then we have DPS, Dead Poet Society in second place, Talia in third, Shadow Guard in fourth, Resolve in fifth, Demolition's Great Kingdom in sixth, Zelth Zenith Kitties in seventh, Brazil Grind in 8th, Wolf in ninth, and Frontier in 10th. Now, Frontier did knock out Afterglow to take that 10th place position. And they, they s tend to s switch it up every other week. So we'll see if Afterglow comes back onto the leaderboard next week. Either way, highly impressive from everyone on both top 10 leaderboards. We love to see the activity. We love to see the growth and the movement. 
that will complete it for this week. Again, that was 14 through 21 July. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit a like. Want to see more of these types of videos? Go ahead and subscribe. We drop them every Wednesday. And then, as always, leave a comment down below if you want to talk about any of the updates that have occurred this past week, whether there's all the deleted guilds, the newly active guilds, or the movements on the top 10 leaderboards. We'd love to see it. Till next time.